Everybody knows Queen. Everybody knows Freddie Mercury. But like most things on this channel, I haven't spent that much time diving deep into some of these legendary artists. Today's video is sponsored by Jamie M telling us and suggesting that we check out on the channel Queen, Somebody to Love from 1981 in Montreal. Jamie says, except for their Live Aid performance in 1985, this is their most amazing live performance ever. You won't be disappointed. Well, there we go. Let's do it. Freddie Mercury, take us there, dude. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We'll talk about the things we felt. And because I've never really paid attention to the words on this, I want to spend some time talking about the, the lyrics after we, uh, after we listen. Roll it. He's such an amazing pianist. Somebody find somebody, somebody love. Yes. Well, that voice of his, man, I don't understand it. Okay, let's do it. Catching that part. Who's doing the backup vocals? Okay. There's no backup vocal tracks. Maybe except on the backup vocals, but maybe it's actually them hitting them. Do you guys know? Please comment down below. Let me know. In the pursuit of making, like, trying to make live performances, uh, I think, I'm sure people are trying to make them better. Maybe they're trying to hide some of the inadequacies of the singer themselves that they were that we were able to cover uh, cover up behind the studio. Because, but because you really know that he's singing here. It feels so different. It feels more real, more authentic, right? He works hard every day. Try it, I'm try it, I'm try. Everybody wants to put me down. They say I'm going to raise it. They say I don't want to love anybody else. I have a couple of friends. Got nobody left to leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love his solos, dude. He's like so calm. Dude, this is such a good song, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. 
man of the the crowd, dude. Bro, if I grew up in the 70s or 80s, Queen would have been my my band, dude. Queen or Van Halen. They're fantastic live, dude. Again, this is 1981. The, and the performance is flawless, so these guys are just master musicians, dude. No, the, the back of vocals are authentic too, dude. His microphone, what's up? Like, what's up with? I feel like that would be more comfortable to hold, too. Somebody love! <laughs> Find me! Find me! He does everything. He can do everything singing. Yeah, hey, sorry. I need to run this back. Hold me like on the drums. Rushing it too and not missing a beat. I've never understood drummers that can do that. Show off, bro. Literally the best product placement you can get ever. Knock him out, bro. Absolutely. Dang right you did. We are so lucky we got to have Freddie Mercury. We are so lucky for technology that lets us like hear his voice whenever we want. That's how you master your instrument, master your craft, and perform it the way you want. Unbelievable. What would be a better live performance? Everything was flawless. His passion is so infectious. His voice is so perfect. So I've never paid attention to the words at all. Oh, each morning I get up and I die a little. Can barely stand on my feet. Take a look at yourself in the mirror and cry. Take a look at them in the mirror and cry. Lord, what are you doing to me? I spent all my years in believing you, but I just can't get no relief, Lord. Can somebody find me somebody to love? I can't help but think of... So did Freddie write this? Okay, yeah, so it seems like Freddie Mercury wrote the song. And, and so I can't help but think about um, his craving for that love that at the time, maybe, I don't know if he had his... If he was still married or where this was at, but... He, he's depressed because he's not hip, like he, he's not being fully himself or something or at least the singer in the song in my eyes I work hard he works hard with that like <laughs> that, that gospel-esque 
it, it sounds like gospel the backup uh, singing of uh who I, I can't believe i forget these because these guys are legends names too brian may and roger taylor okay i work hard he works hard every day of my life i work to my i ate my bones at the end of the day, I take home my hard-earned pay all on my own. I get down on my knees and I start to pray till the tears run down from my eyes. So I'm working restlessly, but I'm not finding that thing. So can I've never I thought this was like a happy song talking about somebody you have to love. No, it's about craving someone you have. It's so interesting. Why such sad words and such a exciting, jovial song. Got no feel, got no rhythm. I just keep losing my beat. I'm okay, I'm alright. I ain't gonna face no defeat. I just gotta get out of this prison cell. Someday I'm gonna be free, Lord. And you know what? Like the, to me, that's kind of a, a, a homage to what influenced this song. The song is heavily influenced by Aretha Franklin and her similar style, loose and very free flowing. Homie's definitely got what Aretha had. Roger Taylor, somebody to loves. Somebody to Love is Aretha Franklin influence. Freddie's very much into that. We tried to keep that track in a loose gospel type feel. I think it's the loosest track we've ever done. I'm not going to lie. I feel cool as F for having pointed that out and that it was like a, th a thing that they said. So similar to gospel, a lot of it is jovial, but sad words. Brilliant. Brilliant performance and a brilliant song. Thank you, Jamie, for sponsoring the video for us to watch this. Thank you for hanging out, guys. Till the next one, Freddie Mercury, rest in peace, rest in power, bro.